Flashbacks. Full case. Full case channel. Good luck, everybody. It's been a while since we've seen our friends. Mr. Finest and Flashback. Twenty twenty three Tops Finest Flashbacks. The full case. Pick your team number a hundred and fifty four. Okay, thank you, Matt. I took him out for you already, so you should be good. I appreciate you. Thank you. Guys, five star just got a huge push. Bowman Draft Jumbo and Five Star and Series 1 are all very close. Very, very close. I think after this break, we're just going to fill all three of those up and then just do all three. We'll just, we'll just, let's just fill all three of those up. So honestly, any of those three, those are the next breaks after this. I'll put Cosmic on the screen shortly. Maybe we'll do th more three-box Mega Random Teams. That was honestly very fun. Um, and those three boxes were really good. I kind of want to see more. Thank you, Matt. Yeah, Five Star and Bowman Draft Jumbo and Series 1 are legitimately all right there. They're all right there. And I'm not just saying that, like, if they are legitimately right there. So, they'll be the next breaks to go. Dun, dun, dun. Angels are off in series one. To Schwaggy. Mr. Reiner, you are Gucci. Thank you. We'll save the 10, it's fine. Nice. Can't tell if that's an auto or if they're just happy to see me. It might have literally been an auto in the absolute first pack I just opened. <laughs> Could you imagine? I just one packed the auto out of the case. I like the corny Godzilla with Matthew Broderick. Call me crazy. Oh no, always right. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. I'm scared. Nah, I'm gonna skip it. I'm gonna skip it always. I'm gonna skip it. I mean no disrespect. I love you. I wish you the best of luck. I'm gonna I'm gonna skip it. <laughs> Antoinette. <laughs> you can have it. You can use it. As the great as the great Sean would say, the friend of Backer and I, he used he used to say, wear it. I used to like that. When somebody would say, I'm going to do that, I'd say, wear it. <laughs> Instead of do it, wear it. Thank you, Antoinette. Who are the Suns playing? I'm not going to reach for my phone again. Who, who, are the, who are the Suns playing? Where's the game? Who are they playing? What's the spread?
Blez Baseball. And the Brown Dog in the house. Flashbacks, Draft Jumbo, Five Star Series 1 are the next four breaks. They're all basically full. So brace yourself. Strap in. Strap in. I kind of want to put up a poll, but it, like I, I know the polls are annoying. My poll question would be, when you get in the car, do you put your seatbelt on immediately, or do you start driving and then put your seatbelt on? Or does it make a difference that if you're a passenger or a driver? I was having this debate with Sarah the other night. She never puts her seatbelt on until we're actually moving. And it's like, no, just put it on and then you move. And then I asked a friend of mine, and he's like, no. He's like, Sarah's right. He's like, you're wasting time. He's like, you can buckle up while you're going. So who's right here? Do we buckle up and then start driving? Or do we just start to buckle up as we drive? This seems questionable. Oh my god. Hello? Okay, one second. I'll, I'll, I'll be right there. Thank you so much. Thank you. Let me grab the kafefe one second, guys. Answer if it's just you in the car, do whatever you want. If it's someone else in the car, buckle up first. So you just want to look good, Dale, huh? You don't actually care about the safety, is that what you're saying? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, so Ted, that annoys me, man. I tell Ted, you need to tell your girlfriend that it, that if she ever breaks up with you, okay, you know, because I'm with her. I'm with her. I don't want to hear the ding. Just put the damn seatbelt on. Right, Joe? Sarah has literally never gotten in the car with me and buckled up until the noise started dinging. She puts the seatbelt on after it starts making noise, but it's like... You know the noise is coming, you know? Exactly, Zilla. It's like nails on the chalkboard, right? Thank you. Ted, I agree with your girlfriend.
Driving on before out of driveway, by the way, Chow, I feel like that's the, the optimal answer. As long as you're not in a dangerous driveway. <laughs> I feel like that's the optimal answer. I'm with you. Che change change. All right, Phobia. Change. Zilla Nation. Zilla Nation. We need to channel our inner Zilla. Find the Zilla inside you. Five star Bowman Draft Jumbo and Series One are the next three breaks. Probably in that order as well, mind you. Five star is just so much faster than the other ones. So, five star, we'll probably do that one first. And then we'll do Draft Jumps because that was. I know people are very excited for that. And then we'll do Series One. Because it's series one. We'll have fun. I'm also quick with the series one. I mean nobody's hot quick, but I'm I'm pretty quick. Quick like a fox. F O X. Fox. So we'll do series one third. We'll do five star first. Take your five star. There's a few teams left, I think. Take your five star. Yes, Bezilla. <laughs> Steamin. Steamonzilla. You could just say Steam and Zilla. I don't know anything about it, man. But I, I like what... I, I prefer tops. I prefer tops than blue. But I don't really know anything about it. It's hard for me to... Honestly, you know, I'll say, I'll make one random statement that I had no intention of making tonight, but just since you just randomly said that, Thin Blue, you're not talking about quality control or anything, but I will say this. Panini, Fanatics, Tops, Bowman, whatever, all the Fleer, Leaf, all the whatever, right? Being on the Pop channel and opening other different products made in different places by different companies sometimes it just opened my eyes to what's possible and it also it's like i don't know like i feel like all of us in some ways when we live our life we try to take the best things that we learn from different things and we see somebody do something better than we know how to do it we try to learn from that and maybe we incorporate that into our life and it's like being on the pop channel and seeing all these different products rummaging through through my fingers, all these different products, I just know that there's got to be somebody out there that's like, hey, let's take what this company's doing and let's copy that. Let's take what this company's doing and copy that. Let's take what this company's doing and copy that and put one really beautiful product together. I don't understand. I mean, these are all nice products. Don't get me wrong, but there's just I just I see what's possible. That's all I'm saying. I see what's possible, and it's interesting to me, because there's because I could I could make an argument that there's small errors with all these different manufacturers, and that there's and that there's so much they could just tweak just a little bit to make things better. There's a Leover. He's gonna be better this year. Speaking of better, Piguero for the Pirates. Adley on the rare for the Orioles. Thin blue. See, complain mojo. Welcome back to the baseball room, Thin Blue. This is this is where you belong, my friend. This is where you belong. <laughs> <laughs> Forget about your no huddle ch Stroud chase, okay? Just welcome home. Um, rare of the captain, your captain, my captain, number two, Derek Jita for the Zilla organization group. If there's a peel, can we guess the peel? Yeah, if I see a peel, we can guess the peel. Absolutely. Gunner on the base. Speaking of Leover, 
God, and there he is again. That's so weird. Um, when I asked Karim who he thought was going to win the National League Central, his response was Reds. Forgetting, completely ignoring the odds, he, his answer was the Reds. And then I asked him if he liked the over win total for the Reds also. He asked what it was. I told him 81 and a half. He said, yeah, I definitely like that. He said he also likes the Pirates win total. Karim said he also likes the Pirates win total. Everybody, it's the Reds, baby. It's the Reds this year, Dale. They're winning the division, in my opinion. I think the Reds win the division. You can get them at plus 430 right now on Boyd, which is just insane to me. I feel like 50% of the time that I drive to this office, I stop at, at Suncoast and I just put more, more money on the Reds. It just doesn't make sense to me. It's so ridiculous. They're plus 430, Dale. It seems like free money. For that price, that's insane. For that price. That's like my bet of the year. All right, let's find some spicy pieces here. The Uncommons haven't been very spicy so far. That's why I haven't said anything. We have like one Corbin and one Gunner so far. And I'm not talking about the Uncommons. There's a spicy piece. See? Thou ass, thou shalt receive. Foxco gets Michael Harris on a refractor. Refractor of Mr. Michael Harris. That's a tough, a tough hit there. That's a nice card, too. So yeah, Karim likes the over on the Pirates win total as well, which I find interesting because it's kind of high. It's like 74 and a half. Trey Turner on the uncommon. Rare of Ripken Jr. A little bit of a, a print line on the right-hand side of the card. A print line or two, but that's okay. Still a beautiful card. We got you that Adley before, so I feel okay about it. That is not appeal, so no guess yet. Keyword yet. Sorry for the glare, but this is the only... We need the refractor light. Vaughn Grisham. He's a Red Sox now. Gunner. Tovar on the rare. What's your name? <laughs> What's your name? Vado. Beatty, Tolia, Liberator on the Uncommon. There's your boy Estries. You really like the under on the stolen bases? Oh, nice. Lou Bob, Uncommon, Refractor, nice. White Sox. Jandrika gets a Lou Bob Uncommon Refractor. That's a tough hit as well. What's up, Rainbow? Reading Rainbow. Gunner on the base. Timmy Anderson. He's a Marlin now, right? Down goes Frazier. Gabe Moreno on the rare. Gabe Moreno on the rare for the Diamondbacks. Mr. Johnson gets a hit. A hit. Manny Machado, uncommon. We need more than that, though, Mr. Johnson. Harris, rare. Rare air up there. I'll bet as much as I can on the Reds to win the division. Logan on the uncommon, but I'm not going to bet them. Not a penny. I'm not betting one penny on them to win the National League. Not a single penny. Not a single penny. The Braves and the Dodgers are way too good. I will not bet a single penny. I like A's over. I kind of like Shea Lane Lears to have 30 home runs this year. Yeah, I said it. Ha! <laughs> you, heard, you heard it here first. Shea Lane Lears hits 30 home runs this year. Grayson. Rare.
rare of Roger Maris, the Yankees. Zilla, the Zilla Club. Corbin on the base, uncommon of Matty Chapman. He probably has a better year this year, too. Halfway mark has been achieved. Torque. He's, Torque is good, man. Torque is good. Torque is good. The Tigers actually, I think, really do have a bright future. Tatis on the uncommon. Between green and Torque, I think the Tigers are actually looking up, believe it or not. Chapman will be fine. He'll find a team. Gunner on the base. Devers. Uncommon. Devers will have a good year this year, too, even though Boston stinks. Speaking of Boston, this guy's going to have a good year, too. Tristan for Boston, Ron. I think I think that the Red Sox struggle this year, but I do think that Devers and Tristan are two of their... And Bayo. Devers, Tristan, and Bayo are, are going to be... Maybe some of their bright spots. They also, you're right, you guys are right. They do have some young talent, but it's going to be tough. I think Toronto and the Yankees are looking mighty fine. Oops, sorry, Wander. Wow, it's funny. Wander was the card that stuck there. Should I throw it out? Eloy. Oh, Joey Weems. It wouldn't be a flashback reunion if it weren't a little Brewers refractor love for Paul on the Weimer fever. Joey Weimer, Refractor. Springer, Uncommon, and a rare of Bow Nose for the Royals. Sharp let it gets Bow. Jackson, Rare. Yoshida will be okay. I forgot about Yoshida, loose stitch. Yoshida will be fine too. I guess they'll score some runs. I just, do they, I mean, I don't know. Their pitching is, and this is, granted, I understand this is coming from a Mets fan here, but their pitching looks mighty questionable. Mets pitching is not any different, for the record. Sip of Kofefe, and then we continue. Hold on. Efro, did you guys do even money? That's a great bet, actually. I love it. I love that, Efro. I freaking love it. That's a, that's a fun one. Boba shit. Blue Bob on the uncommon. Jordan Walker should have a pretty good year, in my opinion. Oh. Is that a peel? Alright, we, we have a peel. We have a peel card. Go ahead and guess it. We have a peel. I'm not going to tell you what color. I'm going to give you the ultimate sweat. We have a peel. Chris Bryant Uncommon. Go ahead. Guess it for... Uh... It's my first time on baseball in a minute. Go ahead. For 50 bucks. We'll do... well, even though it's early. Ooh. Will Benson Refractor for the Reds. Cincinnati. I'm betting a lot on them this year. If anybody knows. Beatty for the Mets on the Sterling Rare. Bobby Witt on the uncommon. Corbin on the base. Where's the Mets? Echo. Echo. That's right. 63 Echo. Echo, Echo. Wasn't there that, like, dolphin game? Echo? Echo the dolphin? Oh, maybe I'm just making that up. Guess the peel. It's numbered to 10. And whoever guesses it correctly is going to receive $50 in the Blez Buck credit. You have to be the first one to guess it in my chat, by the way. Hunter Green, he's a stud. May end up being the ace of the Reds this year. 
Um, he should be. Acuna uncommon. If you're not sure if you guessed it before somebody else, just right-click and refresh on the chat, and you'll see whoever came in first there. That's the accurate order. Gunner on the base. Guess the peel for 50 in credit. Corbin on the base again. There's Buxton. Jags this boy on the uncommon. We'll get all the way down. We'll shave it all the way down to uh, the auto, and then we'll and then we'll show both the peel and the auto. Bang bang. Alonzo, uncommon for my Mets. He's gonna hit at least forty, maybe forty-five bombs this year. If he had fifty, I would not be surprised at all. Alonzo's gonna hit forty, forty-five for sure. Righty fro. Alonzo's gonna take it yardy boys all year. Rare of Ted Williams, one of the greatest of all time for Boston Ron. I said like one nasty thing about the Red Sox, and Ron has gotten multiple Red Sox hits since. So maybe it was a, it was a blessing in disguise. Okay, there's the auto over there. Let's do this handful. Oh, what is this? Is that... Oh, we have a rare refractor. Nice. I'll put that down. Rare refractor. This will be a little tasty piece. Mountcastle on the uncommon. Volpe on the rare for the Yankees going to Zilla. And then we have a rare refractor here. A legend. It's Vladdy Sr. Sick phobia. Gorgeous dude. Vladdy Sr. What's up, Jeff? How are you doing, Cobalt? Vladdy Sr. on the rare refractor. Very crispy. Let me make sure there's no chrome dust in there. Yep, you're good. Crispy, shiny, beautiful piece. Let's go, Phobes. All right. Let's see what we got. The peel first. Good luck. There's a rare in here, too, by the way. The rare is Ichiro for the Mariners going to Zion Papa. And then we have Appeal for the $50 guess. Looks like an in... Phenoms? Phenoms? Phillies. Oh, it's Bryce Harper. Bryce Harper... For club. Number to 10. It's a beauty. I have Bryce on some fantasy teams. Eight, uh, nine out of 10, excuse me. Nine out of 10 on the Bryce Harper Uncommon Peel. Nice. You got the guess, Zach? Let's go. No, you can't peel it. <laughs> we'll show the auto in two seconds. Hold on a second. Zach, I need a snippet of your email. I need a snippet of your email to give you the points, my man. Can't find your account. <laughs> Eric. No, it does not. 
<laughs> All right, now we have some ink. Good luck. Here we go. Good luck on the autograph. Let's see what we got. Good luck. Jay Walker. Beatty's going to be our sweater. Good luck. Looks like a legend. It's Piazza. Piazza 21 to a hundo spot for Daniel and the Dodgers. Well, look at that. Hello, Daniel. He very strategically took these Dodgers. And he gets a little Mike Piazza autograph. Congrats. I'll do a quick recap. I'll put the points in your account in a second set. All right, recap. Ichiro, Ted Williams, Maris, Bo Jackson, Ripken, and Jeter. Volpe, Tristan, Adley, Tovar, Moreno, and Beatty. Few refractors. Harris there, Piguero, Uncommon Refractor of Lou Bob, Vladdy Sr. on the rare refractor. Gorgeous card there for Phobia. Bryce Harper to 10 on the Uncommon Peel for the Phillies. And then Piazza was our autograph for the Dodgers. That was a case of the finest of the flashbacks. It was number 154. Thank you for joining. That was a break.